I got myself a tripod, but I'm still gonna sit in this corner because it has the best lighting. Hi, my name is Benji, and today I'm going to teach you guys how I use pumice to grow plants. So first off, semi-hydro is a term really only used in the houseplant community as a way to describe the method of growing plants in a media that is able to hold air as well as water. So for example, growing plants in LECA, or in perlite would be semi-hydroponics. So semi-hydroponics is a method of growing that people normally gravitate towards because it's less messy, um, watering is a little bit more straightforward, it's difficult to get root rot if you know what you're doing, it's hard to overwater, you normally get less fungus gnats if you are growing plants in semi-hydro as well. But I do things a little bit different than most people who do semi-hydro because most people you grow plants in semi-hydro normally use LECA and I have a couple of reasons why I don't use LECA so for one which I think is like my most important reason is that pumice is much cheaper and easier for me to get a hold of but this probably differs kind of depending on where you live and what you have accessible to you so it has like the practical benefit but I also think it has a growing benefit because Pumice has smaller particle size, so each little rock of pumice is much smaller than each individual ball of LECA. So because the particle size of pumice is smaller than LECA, the gaps between each particle is also smaller, which makes it easier to hold on to small roots. So for example, if I'm planting like a small plant, and pumice, it's really easy for the pumice to anchor onto the roots and hold it down. And when I've tried that with LECA, I just, the plant kind of can like topple over and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll just show you guys how I prepare the pumice and then get it ready for planting and how I plant. Okay, so I'm using one hand, um, so I'm recording with my right hand, so I'm using my left hand, so this might be a little bit difficult to film, but I'm trying my best. This is my giant bin of pumice kind of what pumice looks like if you didn't know it's like perlite except it's much denser and it doesn't break it's like actual rock i have this old broken strainer that i use to rinse the pumice off because pumice kind of like leca and perlite has like a dusty outer coating to it that you need to that you want to get rid of so it just rinse out the pumice and as you can see there's kind of like a lot of cloudy, dusty stuff coming out of it. Oh, I'm back inside. I got my pumice and I have my plant and now I'll show you guys how to pot your plant in pumice. It's really simple, but I thought it'd be nice if I show you guys. So here is my cup that has holes on the bottom. You don't necessarily need drainage holes for pumice um, or for some hydro plants, but I recommend it long term because over time you'll have a lot of mineral or nutrient buildup that you'll need to flush out. So I filled up the pumice kind of like halfway and this is where I will start sort of positioning the plant where I want it to be um, and then I'll just continue filling up the pumice and then I'll give it a good shake to sort of settle the pumice amongst the roots and get the plant secure, and then I'll keep going. The next thing you need to know about is how to water your semi-hydro pumice plants. Um, you, I'm gonna say that you need fertilizer. Okay, I know some people will be like, oh, I just use tap water and it's fine, but pumice has no nutrients in it, and neither does like a or sphagnum moss. Um, so if you're using these growing mediums, you need to add additional nutrients. This is my preferred liquid fertilizer that I use. 
It is called Dynagro Foliage Pro. If you're in need of a fertilizer, I definitely recommend that you use this one. But if you have another liquid fertilizer that you really like, you could probably just use that one. But just make sure it's a complete fertilizer. The next thing that I do that isn't completely necessary, I use pH down to lower the pH of my water to around like 6.5. This is because plants require certain pH levels to uptake all of the nutrients that they need. So you can get away with just using tap water without pH balancing, but I think that adjusting your pH to the optimal level really does help your plant grow, especially in semi-hydro situations where the pH is able to fluctuate um, more quickly than it does in soil. Okay, so in my room, I keep this like two gallon um, water container so I don't have to make multiple trips to the sink. And yeah, this is just like a little pro tip for anyone who's lazy like me. So for my fertilizer, I use um, half the recommended dose, so for two gallons, which is what my container is, I will use mm, a fourth of a teaspoon, which I believe is like 1.2 something milliliters. And then I've tested this a few times. For when I pH balance, I need about one and a half milliliters to get my tap water pH to about 6.5. is you could kind of use this as a catch pot and just leave this layer of water here. The pumice will wick the water up and then saturate the pumice to keep it moist. But personally, I like to let all of the water drain out. And then I'll just use this water to water some of my plants that aren't really very fussy and that don't have like high requirements because this water probably isn't the best since it has so much of this pumice residue. I'll just use this for like my snake plants or something. I water when the pumice is no longer wet and you can kind of, you can feel by just like touching it um, if it's moist or not. So if it's dry, I'll just water it again, just like I did before. And that's pretty much it. Over time, you'll get some really amazing roots. Okay, before I let you guys go, I quickly wanted to show you this thing that I made. Um, it's a poster and I'm really excited and proud of it. There pictures of my philodendron that I created and I designed the poster myself and I took the pictures and everything so yeah I am hoping to start selling it within like a month or so on my Etsy shop so yeah pretty cool uh -huh. pretty cool okay wait also um thank you to everyone who's subscribed to me I almost have like 3,000 subscribers which is crazy. Um, so yeah, like truly, thank you. I really love making YouTube videos. So yeah, not to get all sappy, but yeah, thank you. As always, if you have any questions, just ask them below and I will more than likely get back to you. Okay, bye.